We presented on Friday uh, here at ESMO the results of a study that evaluated the association between tumor infiltrating lymphocytes and metastasis pre survival for patients uh, with HER2 positive early breast cancer who received adjuvant chemotherapy and trastuzumab in the context of the randomized short term trial. So we started from the background that in HER2 positive early breast cancer, uh, TILs are frequently present and are uh, often associated with improved pathological complete rate and long term outcome uh, after uh, optimal treatment. And we also know that uh, the topic of de-escalation of the adjuvant uh, standard treatment, which actually is uh, uh, adjuvant chemotherapy and trastuzumab for one year, is a very hot topic, especially for low-risk pa patients that could benefit for a better uh, risk-benefit uh, ratio. So we explored the association between TILs and metastasis free survival for 866 patients of all the 1,253 patients who were originally uh, enrolled in the short-term trial. The short-term trial is uh, uh, one of the non-inferiority uh, randomized studies that compared nine weeks versus one year of adjuvant trastuzumab combined with anthracycline and taxan chemotherapy for patients with early HER2 positive breast cancer. So it is a trial that uh, tested the non-inferiority of a shorter duration of uh, trastuzumab as compared to the standard one year, uh, but the final result of the study failed to demonstrate the non-inferiority of nine weeks. So we had samples to evaluate TILs for 866 patients from this uh, trial, and we found that tumor infiltrating lymphocytes are significantly associated with metastasis pre-survival. In particular, there is a hazard ratio of 0.76 for each 10% increase in TILs. So, uh, and patients with uh, very high TILs, uh, which in our study was defined as TIL above 20%, experienced uh, a very good metastasis pre survival at five years, which was of 95.7%, as compared to patients with lower TILs, for whom the five year metastasis pre survival rate was 91.1%. We analyzed the prognostic value of TILs in multivariable models, also including other uh, known clinical pathological factors that, are, that may be prognostic, such age, uh, hormone receptor status, uh, grade, and stage. And we found that TILs were an independent prognostic factors for all patients and in the subgroups of patients with hormone receptor positive and negative disease. And finally, we tested also the interaction between TILs and treatment arm, and the main result was that patients with low TILs uh, derived a significant benefit from one-year trastuzumab as compared to nine weeks, whereas patients with high TILs had a very excellent outcome irrespectively of trastuzumab duration. Therefore, the main conclusion was that TILs are associated with uh, improved outcome for patients treated with adjuvant chemotherapy and trastuzumab, and that patients with high TILs may be uh, eligible for treatment de-escalation. Of course, uh, this is the first study that assessed uh, this, uh, this research question and a pooled analysis of multiple trastuzumab trials is uh, indeed uh, needed. We have uh, already uh, at this time uh, five uh, studies including the uh, shorter trial that tested the non-inferiority uh, of a shorter trastuzumab duration as compared to one year. So uh, it will be uh, really helpful to uh, also have data regarding the association between TILs and uh, prognosis in such trials and pulled all the data together in order to uh, increase the confidence in the results. There is a strong need uh, to identify new prognostic uh, factors to better stratify uh, HER2 positive early breast cancer patients at different prognoses because now we have uh, different uh, types of de-escalated and escalated treatments that are available but uh, still our ability to classify to identify patients at different uh, risk is still suboptimal based on classical clinical pathological features. So um, we need to uh, pull uh, the data from all other trials investigating adjuvant trastuzumab um, in order to, um, you know, um, 
confirm that uh, TILs are a valid uh, prognostic factor for uh, these patients. And if uh, validated in other similar trials, these results uh, are likely to impact in the, in the clinic. Uh, I would like to remind that uh, TIS is a, a prognostic is a factor that is easily to uh, easy to assess. is cheap. It, it doesn't require any type of additional uh, analysis uh, beyond the one that is routinely performed in um, in a routine pathology. Uh, just uh, the pathologist will have to. Uh, have a look at, the, at that on already stained uh, slides. There are uh, guidelines and recommendations for the correct uh, TIL evaluation, and there's also a training tool that has been developed by any of the Immune Oncology Biomarker Working Group, and it is available online so that uh, any pathologist or anyone who is interested on, on that can uh, try to score TILs and compare to scores uh, from other uh, pathologists.